Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I have two projects for you. So since summer is incoming, I decided to do um, a top video for girls for the summer. So two versions I have today for you out of any old fabric or maybe even an old t-shirt. We're gonna do both actually. So this one is out of leftover fabric from another project and since I don't have a lot I decided I'm gonna do a little crop top. Of course it could be a longer top as well and I'm gonna do some really cool straps that also make it pop a little bit. So yeah. The other version is out of an old t-shirt. I did this a bit different so that you can have a shoulder shirt so to say or even a regular shirt with a really nice top edge so to say. So both of these I have to say are my favorites. Um, the second version I did in different colors so I think it's actually really cool. Um, you can match it with pretty much anything so even if you have a really nice skirt or some jeans I think it goes with everything and it's really pretty. It can be formal but it doesn't have to be so I think it's a great option for the summer. So let's get started. You will need an old shirt that you won't wear anymore or you can do some leftover fabric as well. Also you're gonna need some stretchy bands of any kind as well as the stretch needles for your sewing machine. Apart from that you're gonna use a safety pin, measuring tape or ruler, zigzag and regular fabric scissors and an unstitcher and some pins. So let's start with the version out of the leftover fabric. So these are the pieces I have. So this is what we are working with. I will do a crop top because I don't really have a lot of fabric as you can see. But you will also need, so apart from the fabric today, you will also need um, the little stretchy bands. Um, the width of your choosing I would recommend 2 to 3 centimeters wide and about 30 centimeters long. You also need fabric for those straps, so make sure you have two. So 40 centimeters of length and 10 centimeters of width. And then a bigger part, you can choose your own length as you like. I would take at least 30 to 40 centimeters. And yeah, the width depends of course on your body shape. So you can measure your breast size or your breast width better said. So from one rib side to the other times two of course and that will be your size. Also, an option to do is um, to have the top really tight when you wear it. In my case, the material is super stretchy. So in my case, that would work. And then you would do five to 10 centimeters less than what your measure really is. So pretty side goes on pretty side. You see that I already cut the edges with my zigzag needle so that they don't press and then I'll align both pieces so make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. So this was my width, this side and then here is my length. So take the sides and sew them together. You could secure them with some pins but you don't really have to. Um, another important matter is that um, you need to check your machine and if it doesn't have the zigzag stitch or the stretch stitch in best case or something like that, um, you need to see what alternative you have. So go along this side and I'll do this with my sewing machine in stretch stitch. That would be the best option. So I'll switch needles. If you have a stretchy material, make sure you use the appropriate needle so you don't destroy it. Here 
here is my stretch stitch and here because of my sewing machine needs to be set this way for this it may be different in your case so make sure to check um, your own machine and if you don't have the stretch stitch just go between two and three with the zigzag stitch um, so in my case between B and C Now take the top and bottom and just make a nice seam, a nice edge all along. I'll show you how. So like this and then just go over it also in zigzag. So here is our big part. I did use the straight stitch on the top. Bottom looks cool like this I think with a little wavy effect. But on top I think I want it straight. So feel free to do as you please. The straps we are gonna do now. So take your piece and cut it in half to get two pieces. We are here. You can also put them together to make them a bit longer. And you can do this if you put the pretty side on the pretty side and put them together or pin them together um, to get one longer piece. So do that with um, both of your pieces that you have. And the next step is to fold them again pretty side on pretty side and sew together to get one piece. If your fabric is bigger than mine, you can skip this by cutting um, a big enough piece right away. Then we would have 5 times 80 centimeters. So in my case, I had 40 times 10. But if you can, go straight to 5 times 80. So um, depending on what kind of fabric you're using and how much of you that you have left over, but I'd say. Um, of course, depending on your body size as well, but I'd say this is probably about the minimum that you can do unless you're maybe doing some kids sizes for girls. So now if you did the same as I and connected the two halves, fold the piece in half and pin the open sides. And when you do that from end to end, um, then we are ready. So. Make sure you align everything. If you're not neat with this, you're going to be able to see it later when you wear it. But anyway, yeah, when you do this, let's sew the side up. Here are my straps. Now we need to turn them inside out, but since they are Thin, it might not be as easy as it seems. A safety pin makes this a lot easier. So just go through one side with your pin and push through the inside to the other side. To get the stretch band inside, you can use the safety pin again, same method. Mm -hmm. 
If you notice that your band is slipping in, simply secure it with a pin at the end because if it gets on the inside, then you kind of have to start all over and repeat the whole thing. So here we are, let's make this pretty now. So before we connect, go over this side a bit so that the band stays in place. That way it won't slip away. Um, so do that on both sides and then you're almost done. So I already pinned the straps to the top, eight centimeters away from the corner. So here I pulled the rough parts up to make sure that the surface is really flat and then I made sure it's the same on the other side. So 8 to 10 centimeters from the edge should be good. Now sew the straps on. You can do that straight with straight stitch or with zigzag stitch as you like and try to align it with the line you already have here. So. Make sure you go there and back a couple of times until you have it aligned and that way you can hide, kind of hide the extra stitches you are doing. So now the top is done and I think it looks great, so yeah. I think this is really awesome. It has a really lovely wavy bottom and super cute straps on top. Um, yeah, my personal opinion is that it's very pretty, but feel free to let me know what you guys think. I think this can be matched easily with pretty much anything. So if you have a nice skirt you want to wear with it, or maybe some shorts or even jeans, I think it works all really well with it. Um, feel free to let me know what kind of material you used if you decided to remake the project and um, yeah you can even make it longer or even shorter so I think it's a really simple project to make even for beginners and I think um, the result is also really cool you actually get to wear it um, the same day so to say so yeah it's pretty cool So for the second project we again need the band, safety pins, zigzag scissors and regular ones and some pins and an old t-shirt. So I do have an M-sized shirt so this is a bit longer than regular t-shirts and since I'm planning on doing a bit wider shoulder top the width um, doesn't fit but thanks to the length I can turn it around so I can basically use the longer side for my width for this project. So it's best if you take a bit bigger shirt because it makes planning and cutting easier. Um, you can also, if you don't have an old t-shirt or you would like to use something else, of course you can use some other fabric you maybe have left over or something you specifically chose for your next top. So I'll be using an old t-shirt, but grab whatever you decided and let's get started. So straighten your shirt on the surface, seams should be aligned. Now you need to get your body size if you don't have your measure already and you can simply do that by taking your breast measure or breast width, that would be if you measured from one rib side to the other rib side, so from left to right or the opposite, and feel free to add a couple of centimeters to that. And yeah, this number is what you need for now. So this is the measure that I was talking about. And then divide it with two, that's the width that you need for this. So in order to get our piece, let's not cut after but before the seam. Mm -hmm. 
make sure that you don't destroy the leftover piece we will need those as well but for now cut them off and when you do that leave them on the side so don't throw them away as we will reuse them later so here is our big piece of fabric now we can cut out what we want so it's a bit too big to fit in the longer side is the closest to me now but I hope you guys can follow so first I'm taking my measurement and doing half of it so let's measure and see what we've got okay and then cut two times the same square so the half of the width that you measure here we are now so I pinned it together so that it stays together I have about 45 centimeters of width and I have about 40 centimeters of length so I use my zigzag scissors so that the edges don't frisk and for now um, what we are doing are the sides so we will pin them together and then we will sew them up I will again be using my stretch stitch but a zigzag stitch would also work in case you don't have the stretch stitch or in case your um, sewing machine is a bit different than probably what um, I'm using Since my shirt isn't too long, I'll just fold it a little bit like this and then I'll sew that up so that I can do that one more time but fold the way I want it to. That way I save myself some room by making the first seam stay close to the end of the fabric um, instead of further away from it. Now I'll fold one more time a bit further away and then I'll make a loop shape for our band later but before the very end I'll stop so that I leave a little opening which has the function to push our stretch band through. So now we will be doing a regular straight stitch. Now you need your band. The length depends on the body size. So now measure above your breasts, let's say under your armpits, all around. So over your back and back to where it begins since this material I'm using is stretchy it should work fine just like that and then when you do that cut off and when you're done with that um, take your safety pin and push the band through the loop you made for it Now take the ends and the line then over one another. Make sure there are no twists inside. And then pull out if it's easier to sew together a couple of times aligned and not like this. So you don't want it um, kind of bugging you and you noticing it when you're wearing it. 
So I went over it a couple of more times there and back and then you can hide it. And when you do that, um, you can, but you don't have to. Um, so that's optional. You can sew but a little hole up. So the opening is closed and our shoulder part is done. For the bottom, I also did a nice edge with a regular um, plain stretch stitch. So you can hopefully see it well. This is purely optional and you don't have to um, do this or you can do it differently than what I'm doing. But just make sure to do whatever you want so that everything um, stays in place and doesn't fray later and give those little frizzy parts. But I think the stretch stitch um, looks really cute when you do it like this. So the big part is done. Now let's do the arms. So we already cut those off and we will simply use the same ones, but we will turn them to the other side. So when you wear it, it's gonna be, let's say the other way around. So here on top, I'll make this a little bit tighter than it is right now. So we will leave this seam and we need two little holes for our band. Make sure not to make a double hole, but just on the one side, mine was an accident. And yeah, if you have a piece like I do where you have the seam in between that you can't really go over, then do it on both sides. Um, if there isn't one, then you can just simply do one loop and one stretch, one stitch instead of two. I used my band, so if you have a couple of centimeters left over, feel free to use that or you can measure your arm width and calculate what works best for you, a bit tighter or maybe even a bit looser. I'd recommend tighter since I think it looks nicer. But yeah, anyway, the band goes through um, and the idea is to get kind of a puffy arm. So like a, let's say a princess dress, if you know the puff arms they have, that's what we want. So this is why we actually want it a bit um, maybe tighter than what they would usually be. So here is my loop now. I connected both sides with the safety pin, but we again want them together. So make sure you don't do it like this. Instead, align them nicely. And when you do that, you get a nice overlap and then it will be much better when you wear it. Also, you can check for twists if there aren't any. Um, yeah, just go check um, and go back and forth a couple of times so that everything stays in place and doesn't rip when you wear it later. So here is a leftover piece since we cut the shirt up the way we want it to. So this is the leftover bottom part. So this is from the other side with the double seam that you can see on here. So these are relatively straight pieces as you can see. And we are still gonna use these so they're not going to waste. And we are going to connect them into the loop, the one loop by this side. So here goes the stitch and then it's gonna go around here. So I already prepared the arms so that you see what they look like. They're gonna be a bit puffy. So like we mentioned, kind of like a princess dress puffy. Here is my other arm that you can see. And you see here that this is our shape that we get. And since this is on the bottom, I'd like to have a straight line here so that it's not weird when I put it all together. So here I'll cut straight before I sew it onto this, like this. So now we have come to the part where we need to connect our arms.
So firstly, you see that the loop is a bit wider than the arm itself, so there is a discrepancy. You will need to stretch this a little bit so that it stays symmetrical. And what I did is I marked with pins first where the half should be, and then I pull it out and mark the quarter, so to say. And I do the same on the bigger piece, and then I pin together the parts that go together so that it all stays where it should. Um, take care that this is on the outside as well. And that your other seam also aligns with um, it from the inside, like this. Now comes the last step. We need to connect our top and our arms. Here you need to find your spot. Basically, we want to align the sides. And pin to keep it in place. So you can make it a bit lower too, but not too low because you won't be able to move your arms right. But anyway, let's sew this up, so where our bands align, and you can even go a bit below, so a bit under the first seam to make sure that it all stays in place. And we will do the same on the other side. We could do it by hand as well, but I think it's easier and faster with the machine. Our second top is now done, and I think it looks super sweet. It's really white, um, yeah, it reminds me of summer, so that was the idea why I chose the color. Um, and since we have some hot weather incoming with hopefully a lot of sun, I think the bare shoulders should look pretty cool. Um, and the cool thing is you can wear it with jeans, skirts, whatever. So here are both of our tops now, so both of our projects for today. And um, this white top I really like because um, it's really summerly, it's really for super hot weather and I think it's gonna look awesome. And this top is also great because it can be a bit chic and it can be a bit fancy, but it also doesn't have to be, so it's pretty much good for any occasion. Let me know in the comments which one you like better and maybe which type you would first do. If you did these projects with different materials, feel free to let me know what you did. I'd love to hear back from you. And apart from that, I wanted to say thanks for watching DIY Ideas. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe, feel free to shoot a thumbs up and share with your friends. You can also check out my older videos I already posted and if you subscribe, that way you stay notified whenever I post something new. So thanks for watching DIY Ideas, I'll see you in our next video. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!